What's going on guys? John here from John's Fishing Channel. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to the channel, favorite this video, and give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about reel care and what you guys can do to take care of your reels uh, and just kind of, you know, preserve the, the working function of them. They will last a really, really, really long time if you put a little care and maintenance into them and actually take care of them, you know, versus just setting them in the corner. Kind of like the ones over there hanging. You forget about them and you put them on the wall or put them in a shed and they go two, three, four years without, uh, without being maintained or taken care of or used. You can run into a lot of problems. When you're out fishing, uh, you know, you, you hook into a big fish or you're on, you're on a hot spot and you're catching fish after fish after fish. The last thing you want to happen to you, you know, you, is your reel to seize up, your line to break, you to run out of line. Uh, there's a lot of different things that can happen with your reel and your line that can really screw up your fishing day. And, uh, you know, if you don't have an extra reel with you or an extra spool with you, it, it could potentially end your day and you don't want that to happen. So there's a few different things that you can do to take care um, of your reels. I've got a couple reels here. You can see this one has got a little bit of dirt on it. Um, it's kind of dirty. It's got some some gunk kind of right in there, especially. Um, I'm going to clean all that off. Uh, and this is, you know, the simple reel. There's a few different working parts of the reel uh, that we can take apart, unscrew, unwind, you know, and lubricate all that stuff up. I've got two different sized reels so we can kind of look at the two different functions, even though they are the same reel. All right, so I've got a reel care kit here. Um, I picked this up at Bass Pro Shop. Uh, it's just a simple, simple, really cheap kit. I think it was seven or eight dollars, maybe. Uh, it comes with a cleaner, uh, a lubricant, and synthetic oil. And what these do, the cleaner uh, will kind of like take off all that grime that I was just talking about and clean up any part of the reel that needs to be cleaned. Uh, the line lubricant which is right here. You put that on your line and it's going to maintain the integrity of the line. You use just a drop or two. Um, you place it on your line and kind of rub around and it'll soak in. And when you use your line, cast it out, it'll kind of spread itself throughout the whole reel. And we also have the reel oil. This is the lubrication uh, for all the different moving parts in the reel, you know, such as the bale, uh, the handle, and all sorts of different stuff. So we'll jump into that. I'm going to take apart one of these reels, clean it, and put it back together, and just kind of show you guys the whole process. Alrighty, so here's the actual reel. Uh, this is a, um, uh, a casting reel, not a bait caster, uh, but a spin caster, because this is a spinning rotational wheel um, and bait casters. Look a little bit different, but they tend to sit on the rod like this. But they look nothing like this reel. So. First things first, uh, we're going to undo, undo the drag cap here, um, and this is what you actually use to tighten the drag down when you're fishing or loosen up the drag. Uh, if you take this off, there's the inside of the bottom of the reel. There's a little gear right here. Uh, you definitely do not want to lose that little gear or any of the washers inside the reel. Um, so the first things first, we're going to take our cleaner, and we're just going to kind of like spray a little bit all over the place, just like that. Then we're going to take a paper towel and just wipe off all that stuff, like so. And what this is going to do, I'm also going to take this off right here. This is the cap, screw on cap, that holds the, the real handle in place. It's actually a screw, hand screw if you will. And you can unscrew this all the way, it's pretty tight, but this holds the the reel handle on and it also makes reels reversible so any left or right handed person can use this reel by simply inserting the reel into the other side like so and then just re-screwing re the cap on and it will function the exact same I had a little trouble getting it on here watching it on video uh, but just like that. So, uh, we, you know, we want to clean up all of this stuff. We want to kind of wipe it all down, get all the junk out of there, because uh, the gunk is bad for business. You let that stuff build up over years, uh, eventually, you know, your, your reel may seize up. Uh, so, now that we've got that off too, we can really get in here. We're going to get some of that gunk off the bottom of the reel. You know, and you could take this a step farther and, you know, take the screws out, take the reel apart. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. Putting these back together can be tricky if you lose pieces. Um, you know, they are pretty integral little devices, even though they don't look like much. There's a lot going on in there with this bale and everything. Um, so I don't recommend going that far, but if you really know what you're doing and you're really comfortable with reels, 
you could definitely do that and you don't even need to watch this video because you probably already know what's going on. Okay. So now that I've got that all cleaned up, of course, you know, I would work a little bit harder on this if this was a full total blown out cleaning, but I'm just trying to make a short little video for you guys. All right. Uh, and then we're going to take our real oil and we're going to apply it to all the moving parts. Uh, that was a little much um, of the real, just kind of like, you know, in and around any joints uh, that are going to be moving. Uh, and you put on, you know, you get a, get a little extra on there, kind of move all the parts around, you know, really get that oil working. You're going to put a little bit in here um, on each side where the reel handle will uh, be reconnected. And then you can go actually go ahead and insert that back into the reel like so. Take your cap and uh, screw it right back in there like so. And this is going to tighten up the handle of the reel and get it back to a working stable locked position, which is fairly important when fishing. You know, feel free to put a little extra oil in that compartment. You know, you don't open it up very often unless you're switching reels. Um, you know, so you can kind of put oil in there and hold it in there. And put our reel back together. You want to wipe off some of the excess. You know, you don't want all that oil just floating around in there. Um, so everywhere that I put oil, that there's a little extra, I will go ahead and wipe off. And then we can place our reel back on like so. Go ahead and pop this bad boy back on. And like I said, this controls the drag. So the tighter you uh, tighten this down the harder it is going to be to pull line off the reel for the fish so if you have a really big fish on you know and he's taking out line you don't really want to horse him you want to turn your drag down by loosening it Kenobi Shh. and that will allow you for the fish to take out more line without you breaking them off and there's a lot of people out there that catch huge 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 fish on really light pound test there's actually competitions out there and world records to see the biggest type of fish that can be caught on the lightest uh, line and tackle. So that was a real fishing maintenance video. I hope it helped you. Last thing we have to do too is take the lubricant oil with fish attractant uh, and just kind of you know put two drops on either side of the line and as you can see that's going to spread out a lot there and when you throw the line you know the line's going to be constantly being wrapped around itself again so it'll all kind of touch each other and that is how you clean and lubricate your reel. Make sure you keep your uh, your spool real spools here in working order you know you kind of want to get them re-spooled every other year it's not very expensive you can buy a machine to do it yourself um, but that's something i'll be talking to you in the next few weeks about too is just how to spool your own reels all right guys i hope uh this has been a really informative video i know it was short and just kind of like a how-to simple keep your uh your reels clean. Uh, I'm gonna take the Bronco out for a little cruise around the neighborhood and then I'm gonna kinda close up shop, put everything away. I'm headed back to Minnesota next week uh, to go on a hunting trip and I also am hoping to make some fishing videos up in my cabin, a couple different uh, five or six videos so I can hopefully bring you guys a little bit more fishing. It'll be really a cold weather type of fishing scenario where you kinda have to track down the fish and catch them. And I'll have a few days before deer hunting season starts to actually get out there and do that. So I'm hoping to do that. Uh, gonna be making a bunch of ice fishing videos this winter for you guys when I go home for Christmas. I'm really looking forward to that too. It should be really, really exciting. Ice fishing is really, really fun. Thanks for watching, guys.